Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of BeFit Live. We have our BeFit ambassador, Roy Montez, and guest Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry here with us today. Roy, Sonia, how are you guys doing? Leah, hi, how are you? Doing good. Good, hi, good. good morning. It's been kind of hectic, so I'm excited to break up the day with the workout. Excellent. Excellent. Well, Roy, you ready to get started? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you know, uh, just like Sergeant Barry said, it's, it's a great time this morning to take some time out of your day, uh, whether, you know, things may be chaotic or, or out, of, out of the norm, out of your routine. So take some time out of yourself this morning. Uh, that's that's a, a great first step to really just engaging in yourself, making some time for yourself and, 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 and setting aside some me time between a workout partner like Sergeant Barry and, and I, or a team. A, a team is a great way to surround yourself with like-minded individuals to get yourself to uh, the ideal goal in which you want to achieve. A, a, team, a team and teammates and teamwork are, are something that you can build upon. A team can uh, you know, push you, motivate you, pick you up, and and um, and 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 push you forward. At, you know, whenever you need it the most. And and speaking of Team B Fit Nation, I'd like to take a minute to give a quick shout out to Lisa Bell, our B Fit ambassador. She's been with us uh, through for from many years. Uh, she's been instrumental uh, to our B Fit program. Uh, She's, she's built up. She knows exactly what BeFit and the lifestyle is all about. So happy birthday, Lisa Bell, along with her husband, uh, Sergeant Major Bell. Uh, they've both been uh, influential BeFit ambassadors to our BeFit program. And so once again, Lisa Bell, happy birthday to you. I wish you the best day. Stay strong as I know you are. You've motivated me. You pushed me, and I and I I see what you and Sergeant Major Bell are doing, uh, leading a BeFit lifestyle. So I, I take a page out of y'all's playbook, and um, keep pushing, keep striving, and happy birthday. So with that, we are going to keep pushing week by week. We've been pushing on. We've been progressing. Last week we hit uh, strength intervals, and we are going to do the same today. So if you have uh, anything with a handle, like a bottle of water I have here that I may start off with, or some dumbbells like I have behind me, which I will primarily be working with. Um, let's go ahead and grab those, grab your waters, grab your towels, and uh, let's get to work. This workout, we're hitting strength intervals once again. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and four rounds. Uh, out of those four rounds, we're going to hit four exercises here. Uh, we're going to do some reverse stepping lunge to press will be our first exercise. We'll do a left leg. We'll do 20 seconds of each leg, uh, staggered stance deadlifts. So I'll go through those uh, briefly uh, as we step uh, further in the exercise. Uh, our third exercise is going to be a reverse stepping lunge press. That's going to be with our right leg stepping backward and our weight will be racked on our right arm. So right leg back, right leg. Uh, pressing the weight up. Left leg back for the first exercise. Left, leg's gonna, left leg is going to be pressing your weight up. And then our fourth exercise, we're going to go into an alternating V up with toe touch. Okay, so alternating V up with toe touch, a, uh, a great progression or a great alternative uh, would be a ab cycle here. So alternating V up with toe touch or ab cycles is going to be our choice here for the uh, strength intervals. Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. I welcome you, BFET Nation. Again, grab your, your, your favorite workout shoes, grab your workout gear. I hope you have it on. Grab your towels, grab some water. Let's get to work here. All right, so before we work out, before any workout, we want to prime our bodies. We want to get our blood flowing. We want to get our mindset right. We want to get our, mind, our minds uh, actively engaged our muscles engaged and ready to work here. So we're gonna start out with some dynamic or functional stretching. And I thought we'd uh, switch it up a little bit here. So for 
30 seconds, or roughly 30 seconds of each of these movements here, we're gonna go through and stretch out our bodies and get our minds ready to go as well. So we are gonna reach overhead and do a, a, and complete a side stretch as well. So clasp your hands together here. We'll reach all the way up, stretching out through the back, through the shoulders, through the arms, all the way up to the wrist, reaching to the sky and stretch out to the right here. And then stretch out to the left and repeat. I'm back to my right. Nice and comfortable stretch here. To the left, nice and comfortable here. You should feel that stretch through your obliques, through your lats, all the way up to your shoulders, up to the sky here. Let me give one more rep here to the right and one more rep here to the left. All right, good. Let's shake that out. I know I'm being a little tight. So these dynamic stretches are gonna move, work out multiple muscle groups within our body here. Reverse lunge reaches, okay? We are gonna start out since we have some lunge work that we're gonna do today. We'll start out with our feet together. My right foot's going back and I'm reaching over with my left arm. Reverse and reach, come back together. Reverse lunge and reach. Right foot back, reverse lunge. Feel that stretch again in your back and your lats. Actively moving through that reverse lunge, engaging your lower body, engaging your posterior chain here, your quads, your glutes, your calves, your ankles, and stretching your upper body here. One more set here, back to the right, lean over, feel that stretch here. All right, left leg back and stretch it out, nice. Okay, next dynamic stretch, we're gonna go into 30 seconds worth of an alternating fixed feet lateral lunge. So we are gonna take a wide stance here, enough to side lunge here. Feet stay in one place. We are gonna lunge over with our hands in front of us here. Lunge over to your right, to where your comfort level is. Back to center, and I want you to squeeze your back together. You should pin your shoulders back as if you were rowing here, okay? Extend all the way out, lunge over to your left, back to center and squeeze your back. Squeeze those shoulder blades back as if you were rowing here. This is a two for one here. So we get that lunge, we get the inside of our thighs, we get our quads warming up and we also get our back activated with some body weight row here. Outward, squeeze. To the back here. Good, good. All right. One more set right, one more set left here. One more rep actually. Squeeze to the back here. Left side outward, inward, squeeze. Nice work. All right, 30 seconds worth of body weight squats here. Again, we're doing some lower leg activities here. So we want to get our bodies and our lower legs nice and primed here. So some just some body weight squats, about 30 seconds worth here. Should be sitting back in the chair, nice and slow, nice and easy. Let's get that lower body nice and warm here. We want to make sure that we are warm to perform all of our strength intervals here to prevent injury here. Body weight squats. At your own pace. Five more reps here for me. Two. All right, let me shake that out. Okay, hinge reaches are next. So we are going to have our feet shoulder width apart here. Let me side angle this. We are gonna reach up with a slight Soft bend at our feet. We're gonna hinge at the hips, lowering to about a 45 degree or a little less, and then reach back up to the starting point. Hinge at the hips, butt is back, 
arms are forward, back is in a relatively straight line with your neck and your tailbone. Your head is in a neutral position looking just a few feet out in front of you here. Re again, really feel that stretch in your shoulders. You feel blood flow flowing through your shoulders, through your arms here. Feel a stretch in your hamstrings, in your glutes. Three more reps here. Two. Last one. Good. All right, let's shake that off. Grab some water. Grab a towel, towel off if you need to. Let me start my timer for strength intervals and we'll get started. So again, these, these workouts and these movements and exercises are programmed to be accomplished, whether indoors like Sergeant Barry or outdoors like myself, whether I'm at, I'm at home, but outdoors, it's about 90 degrees right now. So the humidity is pretty high here in Texas. So I, I anticipate a great sweat. So if you're looking to start off your morning strong, um, try taking your, your workout out on a patio out in, on, on the yard, uh, anywhere that's safe and convenient for you and uh, enjoy the weather outside if you need to escape from indoors. Uh, if, if, you, like my, if you're like myself who is working uh, from home and you're at home 95% of the time, this is about my, my uh, enjoying the outdoors here. So uh, here we go here enjoying this humidity. Reverse step lunge to press. Let me get my dumbbell ready. Again, right leg, I'm sorry, left leg is gonna be going back here. Right, weight is racked on our left hand. Step up and press up. Lunge back, step up and press up. That's exercise number one. All right, Sergeant Barry, 10 seconds. Feet, feet are together here. My weight is racked. Here we go, 40 seconds of work here. Left leg back, reverse lunge, step up, press up, shoulder press, back to your left leg, reverse lunge and press up. Step back, bring those feet together to your starting point and press right back up there. 20 seconds of work left, halfway through. Let's go at our comfort level here. Go at your own pace here. We're chasing the clock and not the reps. Seven more seconds. And time. 40, 20 seconds of rest here and we'll go into the staggered stance deadlift. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some resistance here. I'm gonna hold this weight close to my chest. Beat it together in five. Take that staggered stance. My right leg is back and let's work here. Hinge up the hips, lean forward, keep that back, neck, tailbone all in a line. Neutral position here, let's look forward. And working on our lower back here for those deadlifts. You should feel your lower back activating here. 20 seconds in, let's go ahead and take the other leg back and the other leg forward. Staggered stance. Not too wide of a stance here. Hug that weight in front of you. If you have a plate, if you have an object here, to add some resistance going down and some resistance as you contract. All right, 20 seconds of rest here. Let's reverse step to lunge, press. Right leg is going back this time. Okay, more seconds here. I'm grabbing my weight. I'm racking it right up top. Right leg's back, let's work. Right leg back into a reverse lunge, back to the starting position and press up top here. All right, you should feel your glutes activating. Your hamstrings are working here. Your calves and your ankles are working on stabilization 
as well as your shoulder pressing up. A two for one here. 10 more seconds left. Keep that core nice and tight. Work on stability, control, and keeping that core tight. Two, one, and rest. 20 seconds of rest here. Let's go into some ab work here. Let me adjust to the floor. 10 seconds and we will go into alternating V up with toe touches or ab cycles. Toe touches, hands all the way back, right leg up, left leg up, right leg back, right leg up, left hand touch. There we go. Good work here. Left hand touches right toe, right hand to left. Nice and smooth here. 15 more seconds of work. Good work. Five more seconds. Push through. First round's over in two. And time. All right. One minute of rest in between rounds here. Three more rounds to go. Sergeant Barry, how are we doing? Good. All right. Still out in my ass. <laughs> good work. Good work. Again, workout Wednesdays at 11 o'clock today. We go through 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Today we're working through reverse lunge to press, left leg and right leg, a staggered stance deadlift to target our lower back and our posterior chain and alternating V up toe touches or ab cycles to work on core stability, core strength, and um, you know, functional a, and, and a vital body part that we need for any everyday activity here. Eight more seconds here and we'll start from the top. Left legs back at reverse stepping lunge to press. Two, one, let's work. Left legs back, right, weight is racked. Lunge, reverse lunge to overhead press. Step back, left leg, reverse lunge, overhead press. First round is the toughest. Getting that body moving showing that body that it's about to go through some work here. Second round, warming up into the workout. Seven more seconds of work here, push through. Three, two, and time. Okay, staggered stance deadlifts, 20 seconds each leg. All right, I'm feeling that 90 degree temp outside. If you're working outside, let's make sure and hydrate, towel off, and let's work here. That'd be my resistance. I have a gallon of water here, holding it close to my chest. Left leg's back, right leg's forward. Soft bend at the knee here. You wanna isolate that lower back here for a deadlift. All right, let's switch legs, right leg back, left leg forward, staggered stance, hold on to that weight. Isolate that lower back here. Accentuate at the top here. Think about what muscle group you're working. Two, one, time. Good work. 20 seconds of rest. We're going to our Reverse lunge to press, right leg's going back. All right, three, two, weight is racked. One, let's work here. Right leg going back, back to the start, pressing up, back down with weight. There we go. Now, as the workout progresses, if you feel the need to add more resistance, more weight to challenge you, feel free and do so. Your body should feel nice and warm now. 16 more seconds of work. Let's take a nice power stance with that lunge back. Four more seconds, push through and time. Good work. 
15 seconds. Let's catch our break. Catch our breath. Water off real quick. Five more seconds. Alternating V up with toe touches. All right, let's work here. My right arm, right hand, left foot here. Alternating here. Now a great progression if you choose would be a V up in general. Some of you may know of that. V up, which is both hands and both feet are coming up to form a V here. Good work. Five more seconds. One and time. Good work. All right, one minute of rest here. Towel off, grab your water, hydrate. Again, before this workout, I, had, I hope you all had a good solid breakfast and are working off some nutrition here. Nutrition is key to help fuel us, power us through all of our days as well as our workouts. I actually had oatmeal today. It was a little lighter on uh, my breakfast scale, but some uh, complex carbs to sustain and power me through. Okay, left leg is back in three. Reverse lunge, I'm rocking my weight. Left leg back, back to the starting point. And pressing up here. Left leg back, feet together, press up. Nice and smooth here. Twenty more seconds of work. Left leg's back, back to the starting point. Press that weight through your shoulders. Feel those muscle groups working here, shoulders, quads, posterior chain, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. 13 seconds and we'll go to any staggered stance deadlift. We go ahead and hold this here. All right, 40, 20 seconds each leg here, left leg back, right leg forward. Staggered stance, hinge at the hips, 45 degrees. And back to the starting point here. Most of your weight should be on your forward front foot. Let's switch, alternate. Left leg forward, right leg back for me. Hinge at the hips. Five more seconds. There we go, nice, nice and smooth here. We don't want our back to be arched. Let's prevent injury here. And time, good work. <clears throat> Reverse lunge to press, my right leg is going back in 10. Five seconds here, racking the weight. Two, one. Reverse lunge, right leg back, back to the starting point and press with your shoulder. There we go, overhead press. Let's activate those shoulders, get them moving as well as our lower body. All right, halfway there. Nice and controlled here. 15 more seconds. Keep pressing here. Sorry about that. One and time. Good work, 20 seconds of rest here. Good job, I hope everybody's having fun. I hope you're challenging yourself, pushing through here. Eight more seconds here, alternating V-ups with toe touches down on the ground in five, four, two. All right, let's keep that core nice and tight. Navel press back. 
to your glutes here. Right leg up to your comfort level. Opposing arms, hands and feet touching, and tucking here. Nice, good work. Good work, Sergeant Barry. All right, again, we're doing 40 seconds of work here. We're halfway through, more than halfway actually. All right, five more seconds. And last rep, time. All right, good job. One minute of rest we've earned. Can I stay here? <laughs> Only for about 45 more seconds. <laughs> All right. Everybody who is watching, if you have any questions for Roy or for Sergeant Barry, just let us know and I will be reading those out loud to them. Um, we just want to thank you for joining us and thank you for watching. Absolutely. Thank you to everyone watching. Again, we're here Wednesday today. Next week, we'll be right here on Monday, back to our schedule at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We go through strength intervals. We go through high intensity interval training to help burn some calories on a limited amount of time. Five more seconds here. We're going back in on our back on our left and pressing up with our left arm and time. Right, left leg back to reverse lunge, left arm over overhead press here. All right, I'm feeling it in my quads here, feeling it in my glutes, in my calves, working my stability, strength here through my ankles and pressing up with my shoulders, incorporating your back as well. It takes all of you to get this weight up. Four, three, two, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Staggered stance deadlifts in 12. Where's my towel when I need it? If you're inside, indoors, it's gotta be a hot one. Hot out here, actually. All right, 40 seconds of work. Left legs back, hinging at the hips. And really focus on focusing on isolating that lower back as we hinge and contract back to our starting point. Keep that weight close to your chest. If you add resistance, if you don't have dumbbells, find a band of some sort. Let's add some resistance here in front of you. Keep it close to your chest. There you go, five more seconds. Great alternative here. If you don't have any dumbbells, get that lower back nice and moving and time. Okay, reverse step to press lunge. If my band was long enough, I would be able to step back and press up here with my band. And time. Right leg's going back, reverse lunge. Back to the starting point and pressing up top here. Reverse lunge, my right leg is going back again. Working on stability. Keep those glutes, keep that core activated. Okay, this isn't an easy movement here. A two for one, really focusing on the total body here with a limited amount of time. Five more seconds. Take the weight of your choosing, whichever is more comfortable to you, and time. Good work, Sergeant Barry. 15 seconds of rest. And we'll isolate and work on our core here. Five seconds into work. Two, one. Also, reading toe taps in the form of a V up here. <clears throat> Keep that core tight, nice and contracted here. Let's try to reach those toes. Left hand to right foot and opposite. Right hand, left foot. 
Again, if you need to come here into a bicycle, ab crunches, ab cycles here for four, three, two, one, finish strong, time. All right. <laughs> we could potentially spend longer than a minute now because we finished our workout. <laughs> You're a beast. All right. <laughs> Defit Nation. We have one more set, no? Uh, no, ma'am. Oh. Four rounds there. They flew Man, by. I lost count. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Lucky, luckily, I have a tracker for us. Yeah. <laughs> luckily. So again, that's, luckily. Again, 40 seconds of work there, 20 seconds of rest, and one minute rest in between each round, Defit Nation. We hit strength interval training today. We had a reverse lunge to overhead press for 40 seconds. Left arm, right leg back at 40 seconds of work here. Reverse lunge to overhead press. We had a staggered stance deadlift for 20 seconds, each leg going back to isolate our lower back here. And then we had some core work with alternating V-ups with toe touches and or ab cycles, depending on where you are at today. So again, workout Wednesday, it's a great way to start off the morning strong. Start off the morning by taking some time out of your hectic day. I know your schedule is crazy. I know things can get intense. So, you know, make some time for yourself to better serve others here. So great work, Sergeant Barry. Great work, everyone at home. Excellent. Roy, Sonia, thank you so much. And we will see you next time. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Next time. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Sergeant Barry. Thanks. Have a good week. Bye.